Well, I made it to, to South Dakota. Yesterday I stopped in Sioux Falls at a truck stop. It was pretty uneventful. Got to go this morning, just headed out again. Now I'm outside of Chamberlain, South Dakota at a rest stop. It has a little hiking trail I'm gonna go down. Well, as it turns out, this isn't an actual trail. I'm like having to crawl out through here. <laughs> There's so many trees. <laughs> and a tree just attacked me. So I think that's a sign that I should go back before I get lost. Oh man, looks like we got a bunch of company up here. Well, I'm glad I came out here. I originally didn't want to because I thought for sure I was going to run into a snake and get bitten by it. Well, I just go back from hiking out in the Badlands and I didn't die or see a single snake. I thought I saw a snake lots of times, but I was imagining things. So, it's all good. As long as you go when it's cold out, you're safe. So, I'm kind of pissed off at the moment. Because there was a stop sign, and we had to stop at it, like it was a person holding it. And they wouldn't let us go, even though there were no cars coming. And there's like nothing happening except the stuff on the sides. So we could have easily just gone straight through, with no problem. But no, we had to wait for this pilot car thing. Now this car has to wait for the pilot car. There was literally nothing we had to go through, it was just a straight line with cones in the middle of the road. That was it. But we had to have a truck lead us through because we're two-year-olds and we can't possibly do it ourselves. Well, I've made it to Rapid City and Spearfish is not too far away. It's like, I don't know, maybe 30 miles. I'm leaving Spearfish now. I was gonna go on the highway into the Black Hills and take some pictures and go hiking and stuff, but it is really cold and really dark. Like, I didn't expect it to get dark so soon. It, it was dark at like 7. There's no way I'm going out in that. So yeah, a lot of stuff I didn't get to do.